Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get that dewy skin look. Um, you can do it with powder or you can do it with liquid, but today I'm going to be doing it with liquid. So you're just going to take any natural finish foundation that you have. You can use Bare Minerals, there's tons of drugstore foundations you can use. Um, L'Oreal Infallible, Superstay by Maybelline, so there's also like cheaper options. But I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation today. And the color that I'm wearing is fair because obviously you can tell I match my shirt. Um, so anyways, so you're going to kind of do a mixture here. So what I'm going to use between, so I'm very fair. So I like to use my liquid foundation and then I use the high beam highlighter and I mix them together and it gives me that nice radiant dewy finish that I want. Uh, what I recommend for people who aren't fair and more like medium to tan is to use a liquid illuminator that is more for like more of a tanning kind of type of color as you can see. And then you would mix the two. So not only is it going to give you more color to your face, but it's going to add that dewiness that skin too. Um, as I said, I'm going to be doing high beam because I'm fair and I like this look better. In the summer, I do use a darker one. So, um, so this is what I personally do. I like to put some on my hand. So I do just a couple drops. I'll just do two in this case. So I have two drops there and you can see it kind of moves a lot. I am going to use high beam and then I'm just going to put it right next to it. And you're going to want as much foundation as illuminator, and you're going to mix the two together. Another good way you can get your skin really dewy is using a radiance primer. So that kind of gives you a step ahead in the game too. So these two I'm just going to mix together, which you will see. foundation brush and so I like to just kind of mix the two together so I just kind of do it in like more of a swirling motion so you can kind of tell that I have that illuminating you can tell right there it's illuminating so mix them together and then I just go ahead and start applying that all over my face I'm gonna bring a mirror over here okay perfect For added radiance, you could always use a luminizing finish on any foundation you choose to use. So, under the eye, over the eye. Okay, so I only did half my face, so I'm going to do it again. One, two. because if you don't put enough of either one then you're not going to get that illuminizing look that you're wanting so here we go again getting that glow going on Blend it all in like so. Okay, and as I said, all that I used, literally right now, all I used was these two products combined. That's it. So you can kind of see I have that little glow going on, but if you're wanting more to the glow, that's when you start adding products in. So, like for instance now, I've been really liking the new Wet n Wild uh, loose pigmented highlighter and so this one's called I'm So Lit. So what I am going to do is get a concealer that is radiant. I recommend NARS. I really like it. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So just to add that extra glow. Okay. 
put on that concealer, girl. Get it, girl, get it. Okay. And then you're just gonna get a sponge, like so. And I'm just gonna use the Mario Badescu spray and spray that guy. Blend it in. This way you can just get a little extra coverage of the natural foundation and then enough coverage for you. But it still keeps that illuminator going. And if you hear my dog in the background, I'm sorry, she's so annoying. So anyway, so you're just gonna blend it just like this. So I like to add that, and then I like to go back with the High Beam Highlighter. And find your bone here. Okay, just kind of did it there. I'm gonna do my nose. Okay, so you will see it like so do up by the brow bone basically anywhere the lights hitting that's where you're gonna want it and in this case I'm just gonna dab with my finger How's everyone doing on the daylight savings time with losing an hour? Because man, it's screwing me up. Okay. And you just kind of dab those in, blend it together. So you're gonna see now I got that dewy skin look. I have this. So you can see that I'm having that glow. I don't recommend mixing any matte foundations. With any like highlighter, luminizer, stroke cream, just because they're complete two completely different finishes. So you don't want to combine two different finishes because the result is not going to be really great. Like for an example, if I did uh, this with my Born This Way foundation, it's not going to give me the same like look that I'm hoping for. So, anyways, you can kind of see that dewy look that's going on now. If I wanted more of a luminizing tan look, as I said earlier, that's when I would add this and then the liquid illuminator uh, from Ulta that I got in a sample from Christmas time. But anyways, so just so you can kind of see how this looks, you got just the plain tan color there. And then you just add a little bit of this guy. So I always recommend more illuminator foundation just so you get more of that glow, but then you're going to mix these two together. And you'll see how that's a little darker in color. Adds a little bit more of a tanned look than just kind of more blatantly like fair, but yet you still have all these, like the illumination everywhere. You have it underneath on the uh, brow bone, excuse me. Uh, cheekbone here, the arch up here, your eyes as well as nose up here, just wherever the light hits. So it's just really, really, really great. And this is kind of when I would honestly, if you kind of want that wet dewy look, then that's when I honestly kind of just go the route where I just put Vaseline on my lids and it kind of makes it glowy a little bit. And then I just finish up with a finishing spray. And I'm just going to use this because I got this from Bath and Body Works when I worked there. Um, the face and body mist. It's alcohol free. But anyways, I just put a little bit of that refreshes. And 
the whole dewy look is you can either look glowy or you can look wet and glowy. So it just depends on kind of the look that you're going for because this is kind of more mermaid if you want it more wet looking. But that's pretty much how you're going to go ahead and do it. As I said, I recommend um, like a radiance primer. So for an example, I know Bobbi Brown has one and I actually have it right here. So let me show you guys real quick. know what I did with it. <laughs> Anyways, so really, really, really simple. So you're just going to use a Radiance primer. You're going to use a Radiance uh, illuminator and you're going to mix it with that foundation. Like, so for an example, with my Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Powder, that's a loose pigment highlighter, which is very, very like pigmented, which I like. So if I want to look like a star from space, I would love to do this one. Um, so anyways, with that being said, sometimes powder with foundation can work beautifully. Other times it can't. So as I said, make sure you know what the finish of your foundation is because that's going to determine. So for an example, like the finish of this is illuminizing, but it's also ha it's powder. So if I mix it with a liquid, sometimes the radiance shines through the foundation. Other times it mixes with it and then it just kind of ruins the consistency of the foundation. So you just got to be really, really careful with that. But I will go ahead and just do like a little mini demo and show you what it looks like when you do mix it like that. So for an example, let's go ahead and do the bare mineral uh, foundation again. So plain hand here. Okay. So you're going to see that little dot that I put right there. I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of that illuminate, loose pigment illuminator into the foundation. So I'm just going to use an angled brush to kind of dig this out a little bit because I don't want too, too, too much. So that, boom, and I need a little more because I didn't get enough. So anyways. And you're just gonna kind of, as you can see, how like pigmented. See, look how pigmented this Wet n Wild highlighter is. Like, it's amazing. They're really stepping up their game these days in makeup. But anyways, so you're just gonna kind of move them together, and then that makes a nice little brighter highlight. It's gonna be a lot more pigmented. So, so you can go ahead and do that again if you feel like just going over your liquid with powder. So I just dip this in the loose pigment from Wet n Wild, and then you can just go ahead and do what I just did with the high beam illuminator and go over it again and then just kind of blend that in with your finger. Usually I'm not prone to blending with your finger because there's a lot of bacteria on your hands, but in this case it's just easier and I know people have busy lives and everything and I know that's probably the way they apply, so I'm just trying to help you. But that you can see it's a little bit brighter and um, yeah, so it just depends on the extent of how glowy you want it, how bright you want it, and if you want to just look like you're pregnant and you have that mama glow and your skin just looks glowing and pretty, then that's one thing. If you want to look like you in beauty space, then you would add more. So it's just depend on the look that you're going for, but usually I like to mix liquid with liquid, powder with powder, but there are those times where I love mixing loose powder with liquid foundation. So as I said, if this wasn't a natural finish, then I probably wouldn't have done the Wet n Wild highlighter with it. So that one is is perfect and this is this foundation is water based so that's also nice too if you know what the base of your foundation and the finish that really helps out with that so that is pretty much it you guys like really really simple and really really easy like all I would need is lashes you know cover this up maybe more if I wanted to and then a little bit of lip gloss if you have clear lip gloss or Vaseline that works really really well too to add that like wet dewiness look to it so you can apply it to your lids to make them look brighter you can put it to your um, cheekbones and also your brow arch bone here so that, that way it just kind of brightens everything up too so um, if you feel like that's not enough as I said just go back in with highlighter you can like swirl it around with a loose brush if you wanted to to just kind of add it in there but I like ma mixing it in with it so either using a radiance primer mixing it with the foundation or do the radiant primer first and then mix the foundation with a liquid illuminizer. So there's multiple ways you can go about it, as I said, powder with powder, that kind of thing, but this is gonna be the basic look that you do. So all you need is a liquid foundation, liquid highlighter, you're golden. So that gives you enough, and then applying extra on top once that has set. So 
Um, as I said, just use a finishing spray before and after so it is holding really well. And if you guys have any questions um, about more dewy looks, let me know and I'm more than happy to make a tutorial. So just go ahead and let me know and let me know what you think in the comments below and I will be posting a new tutorial up here soon. Thank you guys. Bye. I hope you have a great weekend.